Hi, my little Einsteins. Today we're going to talk about estimate sum. Now, estimate is another word we can say for rounding. And sum, we already know what that means. That means when we add them together, it's our total. So, before anything, let's talk about what's the rounding rule again. The rounding rule is find the number or underline the place value we need. Look right next door. Five and more, we're going to raise the score. You're going to go up to the next place value. If it's four or less, put it to rest. Just keep it how it is. Don't change it, okay? That's the rounding rule that we talked about previously. So, an estimate sum. It's the same step that we use for rounding. However, that there's another step at the end you do is add them both together using mental math. So, we find the rounding for each one. We round each number, and then we're going to add them together, and that would be our estimate sum. Very easy. It's just an extra step. So let's take a look at our first question. Now this question is going to be in your book with the two pandas. Do the two pandas weigh together more than 500 pounds? So we have two pandas that we're looking at, and there's the female and the male. So the female weighs 255 pounds, and the male weighs 329 pounds. With these two pandas, we want to know, by putting them together, are they going to be more than 500, or are they going to be less than 500? So first, let's round each one. Let's round to the nearest hundred first. So when we're rounding to the nearest hundreds, we have to look at the hundred place value. So female is 255. We're going to underline the two, and we're going to draw a little arrow, an arrow at the first pot. And we're going to say, can that five help? Is it five and more? We're going to go to the next place value, the next count, 100, which it can help. So it's going to go from 200 to 300. So the male is going to be 329. So we're going to underline the 3. We're going to draw a little area to the 2. And we're going to ask, can that 2 help us? And we can be like, no, 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 no. I'm very small. I'm going to we need to put me to rest. So it, we're going to keep it how it is. All we do is change the zeros in the place value. So it's going to change into 300. So the female is 300, and then the male is 300. So now we have to add them together. So we're going to do 300 plus 300. And we're going to use mental math. We're going to do it in our minds. And it's going to equal to 600. Now, in the question, it says, is it going to be more than 500 pounds? So our answer is yes, it will be. Because our total, our estimate total, is 600. So we're going to say 600 is greater than 500 pounds. So yes, it is more. Let's take a look how our answer will be different if we round it to the nearest 10. So the first one we did hundreds, let's see how it's going to be different with the tens. So for, exa for example, the female is 255. We're only going to look at the tens value. The ten value is the first five. We're going to underline the first five and we're going to draw an arrow to the second five. Did you notice that we did not touch the two? Because the two stays the same. The hundred value stays the same. We do not touch it. We're going to ask the five, can you help? It's going to say, yeah. Let's go to the next place value. Let's go to the next 10. So 255 will change into 260. The male is 329. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to underline the two, and we're going to draw an arrow at the nine. And we're going to say, can you help? And he's going to say, yeah, I'm a nine. So let's go to the next place value. Let's go to the next 10. That three will come down. It stays the same. We do not change it. And then we'll write 30 will be the next place value, the next 10. So our answer is going to be 330. Now we add these two numbers together. We're going to do 260 plus 330. This is when we use mental math. So when we're adding, we start with the zeros, we're going to, uh, with the ones. We're going to do 0 plus 0 is 0. Then we're going to do 6 plus 3, which we know it's 9. And then we're going to do 2 plus 3 equals 5. So our answer is going to be 590. So we're going to think from the question from before the, in the problem, is it more than 500 pounds? Our answer is 590. So yes, 590 is greater than 500. So it's going to be more. Did you see how 590, when you round it to the nearest 100, is 600? So it's very similar, these answers. They have to be very similar to each other. Great job. Let's try to do some examples together. So this example is rounding to the nearest 10. 
you're going to find the estimate for the nearest ten. I want you to pause this right now and try to solve this on your own. So our question is 218 plus 466. So we're going to change 216 into, we're going to underline the 1, we're going to look at the 6, and it, can it help? You're going to say, yeah, it can help. So I'll change into 220. Remember, the 100, we do not touch it. It stays the same. The 466, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to underline the first 6. We're going to draw an arrow to the second one. And we're going to say, can it help? It's like, yeah, I got you. Let's help. I can help you. So it's going to change it to 470. Now, we have 220 plus 470. This is when we do mental math now. We're going to do it in our heads. We're going to do 0 plus 0 is 0. Then we're going to do 2 plus 7, which is easy. It's 9. And then we're going to do 2 plus 4 equals 6. So our answer is 690. You got 690. You're super smart. Let's do our last example. All right, now, this time, we're going to do estimate to the nearest hundred. Okay? you got to make sure you're reading the question because our answer will be different. So we're going to round to the nearest hundred, 514 plus 258. Now, I want you to pause this right now and try to answer this on your own. But remember, we're rounding to the nearest hundred. Okay? So let's take a look at the answer. 515, we're going to round it, and it's going to be 500. Then we have 256, we're going to round that to 300. Now, let's find the estimate sum of it. We have 500, and we have 300. When we put them together, it's going to be, mental math, it's going to be 800. So if you got 800, pat yourself on the back, buddy. You're super smart. So that's how you do estimate sum. Now, remember, you do rounding first, and then you add them together using mental math. If you have any questions, please email your teacher. Thank you.